Well, I've just come down to one of my favorite places along the River Dodder. I'm just across from the Weir at Balrothery. So I'm going to show you that, but first I'm going to give you a look at some of the work that's being done at the moment. Now in times past, I would have parked just about here, but they have a lovely little new lay-by just over to my right there, so I've chosen a different parking space today. But I'm going to just walk in here through these nice bollards. So let's have a little walk. Lovely new walls in the area. And I'm not too sure what they have planned, but there are uh, red posts, which you can see behind this wall here. I have no idea what they intend those for, or maybe they're just a feature. Who knows? I'll find out in the not too distant future. Now it's quite windy, so I'm not too sure how the wind is going to affect the recording, so I'll try and stay out of it if possible. I'm just going to walk a little bit to my left towards the weir and onto the new areas and see what the improvements look like. At least, I'm assuming they're improvements. Now I'm coming out of the shadows into the sunlight and you may be able to just see the weir through the trees there. But I'm going to go a little bit to my right first just to have a look at this new, these new pathways and also some more of those red posts while I still wonder what they're for. I think they're just meant to be a nice feature with no specific purpose but I'm sure I'll find out in the not too distant future. I like these new pathways and ahead of me you can see the traffic crossing the motorway which goes over the dotter at that point. And there are some nice new seats here, little benches for people to sit and relax. So if I turn here to my left, there's a very good view of Balrothery Weir. There we go. So let's take a walk down what I can see. Let's go a little bit to the right because again there's a nice new pathway leading down the existing bridge just there again with the motorway in the background and I'll swing around to my left back to the weir and I think we'll walk down a little bit closer Obviously that area on my right at the moment is fairly scruffy looking so that's going to need a bit of work before the whole job is finished. And again swinging back to my left. Closer view of the weir. So let's walk up along 
this new path. Now is one of the regular places along the daughter that I would visit. But Rothery Weir is one place that I would expect to regularly see both kingfisher and dippers. And without giving away any secrets, they both nest in this area. So let's walk a little bit further up and see what else we can find. Yes, it really is much more pleasant to walk on these pathways than the old little tracks that used to be here. Now let me give you a look at what I'm walking on now. Nice little paving stones. Yeah, that's a nice little feature. And there's a cormorant just sitting there waiting for me. Balrandri Weir is also known as Fourhouse Weir and sometimes City Weir. It has a long and checkered history which I may take a look at at some other time but for now let's just say it's one of the most attractive features of my favourite river. And with that I leave it to enjoy some of the beautiful wildlife which can be seen as you walk along the daughter's banks.
Thanks for watching Wildlife Wednesday, folks. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, I'd be grateful if you'd give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And when you do, don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. If you'd like to buy a copy of my safari book from sunrise to sunset, follow the link below the video. In the meantime, take care, stay safe. We're not quite out of the woods with COVID yet, but we're almost there, so take all the precautions that you can. Till next week, take care, stay safe, bye.